Archie is currently finding his way across Southfields Recreation Ground, across the north side of it. This is quite a difficult way to get across the park. A hundred years ago it would have been a lot easier because there would have been a rail to rail track right there but it's closed and disused now. We're going to go and find it. Because it's easier than hopping across rocks and logs. Okay, today we're at the lovely old station of South Acton in a leafy London suburb. Trains go down to Richmond that way and up to Wilsdon Green that way. This is an overground station these days. See a little footbridge off in the distance? What I'm curious about today is not the modern station but the line that used to run from here. Because it used to be that after this station, further up the track there, was um, a set of points branching off to the right where there'd be another little branch line that went to a station which doesn't exist now called Hammersmith and Chiswick. That was before the First World War. The amazing thing about this line isn't so much that it's now closed and there's very little sign of it ever existing. The amazing thing, I think, is that it ever existed at all, because it just did a tiny loop, one station, and I think they put three halts on the route, um, and they kind of went in a bit of a, a bit of a semicircle. I can't really imagine who'd want to bother getting on a train from here, which is South Acton, to where it ended up, which is Chiswick. I mean, it's, it's walking distance. It's half the distance of the E3 route. Why would anyone get a train? Uh, but they did used to, so uh, let's go and find out if we can see any signs of that track. What do you think, Arch? Do you think we'll find any? Probably not. Probably not. Let's see. Eh? We might. We might. There's always a chance, isn't there? You never know your luck with this game. This is the modern overground map. And this is just to show you exactly how small this branch line was. We're going from South Acton here to Stamford Brook there. That's the extent of the whole branch line we're going to find. Like I say, walking distance. Come on, Arch, let's go walking. Yeah. Okay, we've come down the road from uh, what were we on the bridge at Acton Lane. Uh, we then turned into Southfields Road um, and walked across Southfields Park. These are the buildings here today. They're obviously not the same ones that were here in the First World War, before the First World War, when the Hammersmith and Chiswick line was running. But I suspect this building here might be something to do with the old railways. And there's a little industrial section. Then there's a pathway into the park. Now the park itself, Southfields Park, um, was on the south side of the railway track. And we're currently on the north side, so as I'm going through here, I'm actually crossing what would have been the railway track. Let's have a look. There's a little, um, this is Southfields Recreation Ground. This little thing here about its history. Um, two million bayonets were made on this site by the Wilkinson Sword Company in the First World War. They also made bicycles and motorbikes. Uh, no mention of the railway track there. A can see railway track going here. I think that's it. Yeah. That's the modern overground line there. Um, that's the bridge at Acton Lane that we just saw. This is Southfields Road. And there we are. This is the recreation ground we're in. That's where the train track would have been. Not there anymore, but it's it would have been there. Let's go and see if we can find any of the halts on the route. Okay, so we're now on South Fields Road and we just found this road called Rugby Road and one of the halts on the line was called Rugby Road so we'll just have a bit of a look down here. See if we can find any signs of it. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay, so this is Rugby Road and as we walk down Rugby Road we come to a dead end. Dead ends are quite common when you come up to railway tracks, aren't they? Um, residential street that stops in a dead end. But with uh, an alleyway. Well, a 
track. No, obviously rails on there. There's another track that goes down there that's kind of like a car park at the moment. But it's a straight on track and that is, I believe, where the Hammersmith and Chiswick railway line used to go. So we walk over it on the other side, it's a completely different industrial area. Um, which might have been one of the reasons for the, the track being here. I mean, if they were building bayonets around the corner um, and they've got all these industrial sites here, this might be <coughs> a reason for having a railway track much more than a small commuter loop. What do you think, Arch? Um, well, obviously, I think that there used to be a track going straight through there. Absolutely, And that's yeah. why... So here we are now, we've just walked around the waterworks and we're at the other side of the car park track that we just saw. And yeah, I'm pretty sure this is where the Hammersmith and Chiswick Railway would have come down. Obviously everything's been built since, uh, since the railway was dismantled. Uh, and then uh, it would have gone through here. Where are we now, Arch? Um, we're now at another part of the track and we know that it went near these houses. Well it went down the back of these houses and we are right outside the back so it would have come down through those gardens there across this garden and where then Arch? And then it must have gone down there down that alley right there I think it did, or possibly through that block of flats, which wouldn't have been there, because if it's going down the back of these buildings, and it wouldn't have gone through that building there, because that one is uh, pre-First World War, I believe. So it either went through these flats, or down this alleyway. And what we do know is the end of this alleyway is Bath Road. And we know that one of the halts on the route was called Bath Road. So one of the halts would have been here, or very close about. We haven't managed to find the Woodstock Road halt. That's one we missed out. Um, but I think we are gradually finding the route of the old Hammersmith and Chiswick branch line. Yeah, we are. <laughs> awesome. Do you reckon there's cake on the route? Who knows? Maybe we'll buy some. <laughs> okay, so that's the alleyway we were walking down. And this is Bath Road. Um, so that alleyway would have gone down this direction. This is where the station would have been Hammersmith and Chiswick. Let's see if we can find any. Or cake. Not entirely sure. We've walked down the road that followed on from the driveway. It's been a straight road and it's ended up here. So, what was that? Can we buy some cake on the way back? <laughs> Over there, as you can see, we've got the district and Piccadilly line running. And if you come this way. Yeah. Um, I know from that alleyway straight through it would have obviously gone through here and it'd meet and it'd end up here and there's actually an arch that looks like it could have turned slightly and gone through that arch there, maybe. You might be right. Let's yeah. further look down here. Yeah, I kind of ruled that one out. Maybe I'd ruled it out a bit too early. I thought we'd discussed already that the channel's supposed to be about models and trains. You were talking about cakes, though you can't talk, <laughs> sir. So we've just walked down that little road that Archie suggested, <coughs> and um, we've come across, of course, the district line that I pointed out earlier. I think that's Stamford Brook Station up there, is it? We'll have a proper look. But Archie's noticed something about the arches, of course. <coughs> These ones are straight. What else have you noticed? I've also noticed that those arches are curved whereas those ones are straight. And this curved one follows directly on 
where the track was, so that might have been where the end of the journey was, because that's obviously Stamford Brook. Well, I'm, I'm not sure this would have been the end of the journey, but I think it would have been a part of the journey. Yeah. This is made for trains to go through, isn't it? Yeah. I think. Oh, look at all that black smoke up there. Look at all that black stuff on the sea. That must have been from steam engine. Could it be? Still here? I don't know. Because what else is made all those black marks up there? It's a good point. I don't know. Do other would there be black marks here? No, no black marks here. I think you I think you've spotted the clues, mate. Well, obviously, yeah. So, not just for once, mate. steam engine soot that we're looking at uh, yeah. right now? Yeah. If so, that's incredible. This, uh, this little archway, uh, as you can see, is D76E. It's going out somewhere, yeah. but it's not accessible. But we're going to try and find the other side. Let's go. Anyway, here's that archway from the other side. We've uh, managed to get around it. Um, and now it comes out into, there's the back of some old houses, so it would have run down the back of them. And here's a reasonably modern council estate. I think this is where our trail goes a bit dry. Um, and I think this is actually where the terminus of the line was. Um, Hammersmith and Chiswick Railway Station was in fact um, just, a, just an old house converted. It wasn't a special railway building. And I think it's been knocked down uh, to make space for this new estate. Um, yeah, I believe this is our journey. Okay, so I think we managed to find um, where the Hammersmith and Chiswick branch line went, uh, where the old train station was. We, however, didn't manage to find any cake, unfortunately. But we did find uh, Fubets, which does homemade ice cream. How's yours, Arch? Good. Mm -hmm. I get out of the way of the car. Whoops! <laughs>